welcome once again guys uh, yesterday uh, we were a little late so we had to stop in this place uh, time is 5 am in the morning and uh, here again we are starting our journey so from here it's uh, another 500 kilometers uh, so we'll try to cover up all the distance today itself uh, so let's go guys uh, so early in the morning i don't uh, have words to talk about uh, So guys uh, time is 7 am in the morning and we have uh, I don't know where we have reached uh, uh, we'll try to figure out where we have reached yes uh, this is the fourth uh, toll gate uh, that I'm crossing after from Shillong so the good thing is i still don't have to pay so i don't understand like uh, there are some kind of toll gates where they even charge uh, the two wheelers so i it, normally i don't travel so much in express ways and all so i don't know if uh, anybody has a clue you know what kind of uh, toll gate uh, uh, you know it's chargeable for the two wheelers maybe you can just uh, comment it down So as of now we have crossed yet another toll gate and uh, I think we still have uh, hundreds of kilometer to travel so no problem we will keep riding because we have the whole day today to reach and see Mount Everest and no problem no time no money bike and me no problem okay Okay, the road is bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Okay, so no problem. Uh, so right now it's already 7 a.m. in the morning, and uh, honestly, I haven't had anything from uh, morning. I woke up at around 4 o'clock, and then uh, uh, not exactly 4. I would say 3:30 a.m. in the morning. I woke up, then I, uh, you know, got ready and all. I packed my bag and all. I double checked my accessories and everything. and then i also took little time to tighten the bolts and all because i don't know i have this boltophobia where uh, you know i am always in a fear that uh, the bolts of the vehicle uh, you know the tires and all might just come out so i always ensure that all the bolts are tightened properly and then uh, i lubricated the chain as well and uh, it's uh, quite smooth right now so i don't know if uh, we reach uh, uh, at a place in time then uh, maybe we will give uh, our bike for a little bit of servicing like uh, washing oil change and all those things because it's been already uh, six uh, around 5000 kilometers right now that uh, we haven't done the servicing the last servicing which we did was at around uh, 23000 km and the vehicle has uh, run uh, 27000 right now so normally i do the servicing of my bike uh, the oil change and everything at around 3000 km but uh, this time it's been already 4000 km plus and we haven't you know uh, given it for servicing so no problem uh, actually in the uh how is the problem is uh, this dabas and all the food uh, actually you cannot trust this food it's not so i would say tasty but uh, maybe uh, we might find some uh, tea stall or something where we can uh, sit there have some tea and we need to download the videos also that we have been uh, shooting for so long because actually uh, 
right now it's morning and the weather is quite pleasant so maybe by 10 or 10 to 3 or 4 the weather in this area will become very hot so i actually don't want to travel so much during that time i want to cover at much as much as distance i can uh, before that so that i can uh, you know by the time i reach uh, uh Kaliguri and then I'll have to reach Sikkim I think it'll be little cold not so hot so I have my full body warmers and everything ready so I'm not sure whether uh, we need uh, I think there are some shops out here so we'll just see uh, I'll just slow down a little bit maybe we can find some tea stalls or something because we really need uh, tea right now i am already feeling so dehydrated and i need some water as well so although i have some water but uh, i would prefer to have warm water uh, during this time so let's carry on let's keep moving okay 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 uh so this trucks uh, it's very difficult especially to overtake them and uh, one thing about this uh, trucks are there if uh, the trucks are loaded you know they'll allow you they'll give you the pass but uh, in case uh, if the trucks are not uh, loaded and they are like you know going empty they don't uh, give a shit about you they just keep moving and they don't give pass and all so it's early morning and you know there are some locations where from where the trucks are not allowed after 8 uh, am uh, till 8 pm so even the trucks they want to cover up as much distance as they can before uh, you know in another one hour or so so the update is uh, suddenly my GPS signal was lost uh, due to which I took a wrong turn. Bongaigao, sir? Bongaigao? Bongaigao. Thank you. So, so, this is the point from where we took the wrong turn. And uh, we went, I don't know, some other way. We actually had to move from here. So, a waste uh, this shows another 6 hours to siligri and from there it's another 5 hours or 10 hours so i am little skeptical about uh, reaching right now maybe i think another 12 hours so time is right now 8:30 am in the morning and uh, so if uh, this is how we moving then maybe we will reach by 8:30 at night so i'm not sure reaching that late because i usually don't like to ride the bike after it's uh, dark so but uh, we have to go tomorrow we have the whole day and uh, tomorrow will be uh, sunday then we have monday So anyways we have to return home by tuesday so i think uh, it took us uh, if we ride the whole day today then uh, i will consider it uh, that we have been driving for 12 plus 6 around 18 to 20 hours so i can move on monday morning then i'll reach home by 1 or 2 o'clock uh, that's what i'm projecting i'm not sure so let's see if we are in a wrong way or not once we reach in bomaigao the highway uh the road will be much clearer actually i was uh, going through the highway only but then i i don't know what came up to my mind and then i suddenly decided you know i just check in google map about the location then google map it showed me some shortcut so i started taking that shortcut and it seems that shortcut 
is maybe to the wrong uh, way or you know maybe i could not understand the lady in the google so no problem right now we have got the correct path and uh, we are moving so it's another 20 kilometers to bungagao which is roughly around uh, half an hour 40 minutes in this speed uh, so once we reach there we'll again see how it goes we have reached uh, Pokhara Jhar and uh, it's around 160 170 kilometers more from here Siliguri and uh, that means uh, by the time we reach there it'll be late night uh, so anyways uh, we still have time so what I'm calculating is today whole day tomorrow stay maybe in the morning but uh, so one thing is uh, very uh, you know fascinating that uh, uh, from the time I move out from Shillong I must have crossed at least six or seven toll gates so I am not sure like how many more uh, is yet to come <coughs> just So we have reached Alidapura and uh, in a while we'll be entering West Bengal. So, so it's there on my left hand side. So oh my god uh, the elephant. I am seeing an elephant for the first time in my life. For the first time in my life, I've seen an elephant. So it's uh, risky. I obviously want to wait and look at the elephant, but uh, <laughs> so, so finally we have officially entered West Bengal. So there's no difference. Uh, Assam or West Bengal, it all looks same. But uh, one thing I notice is uh, the condition of the road little bit change. There is a single lane road only. Uh, unlike in Assam, you can see the highways. Most of the highway it has a, a dual lo dual lane and all. So in West Bengal, it's not much. Otherwise, everything else looks uh, same to me. So, Siluguri is another 88 kilometers from here. And uh, the Google map is saying it will take another... The Google map is saying it will take another 1 hour and 48 minutes to reach. So... I don't know, this road doesn't look so good. Uh, looks like uh, there is some, this is a newly constructed uh, road, but uh, the condition of this road itself is so bad. Uh, so anyways, uh, we have already entered West Bengal and we have uh, driven in more than 100 km inside uh, West Bengal. And uh, I just uh, stopped by to check uh, the distance uh, left uh, to reach uh, Siliguri. So it is uh, another 88 kilometer, which is approximately around two hours of uh, right. Uh, so Google does the calculation of uh, you know time and distance based on uh, the condition of the road traffic and all, uh, but it does not calculate uh, if you are stopping by or anything. So those are two different things: uh, checking in Google and actual. So it always takes time to reach 
and uh, the exchanges were in like uh, it has taken uh, less time to reach as well so in google uh, it showed uh, it will take 2 uh, hours and then you know i reach uh, in uh, less than 2 hours so those kind of incident have also happened but uh, there is worse uh, there is sometimes when the google traffic jam prediction is uh, not right so how does uh, google prediction work is uh, it tracks the gps uh, location of uh, every handset that is available in that particular area and uh, if there is uh, lots of uh, uh, you know gps uh, locations available in that particular area then it will show it as a traffic jam so i believe that is how it works and uh, i called up my friend uh, in siliguri so i told her that uh, i'm going towards uh, sikkim so she told me the same thing that uh, the right now the condition of the sikkim is not so good uh, there has been a news of uh, heavy rain flood etc and even when i was uh, trying to check the location in the map it was uh, showing me the same thing uh, flood affected area so i'm not sure that uh, how safe it will be to reach uh, sikkim because uh, the our main purpose is uh, to see the mount everest and uh, in order to see we need to reach at least uh, till kursiyom so i'm this is keeping my fingers crossed let's see so hope there is no problem at all and we will achieve uh, what we have planned for so that's all so i the sun is right uh, you know in my eyes it's coming and it's so difficult for me to see so i what i did is uh, i took out the shades and then i put it uh, but uh, it's okay when it's bright like this but uh, the shade is a little too much uh, dark when you know there is a shade or shadow of some trucks and all so sometimes it's becoming very difficult for me to ride as well but uh, i don't have any options because sun is coming directly into my eyes and can't help it i have to because i cannot open the visor as well because uh, it's so dusty out here and uh, i really can't drive but uh, wearing spec has